Hi, we're here today to talk about biological indicator resistance testing. When I say resistance testing, we want to verify that the biological indicator performs the way the manufacturer intended it to be. And when I say performance, I mean the resistance of that BI. There are a few different tests we can perform to verify that the resistance of the, bi the BI is as stated. One of those tests is the D-value test. The D-value is the time in minutes that it takes to reduce the population by one log. So we will verify that the actual tested D-value is within an acceptable tolerance against the manufacturer's labeled D-value. The other two tests that can be performed to veri verify the resistance is a survival time verification and a kill time verification. Those are also stated by the manufacturer and all that is performed is a test to verify at that survival time that all the BIs grow. Um, and the same for the kill time. We want to make sure that at the kill time all the BIs have demonstrated complete kill. Then we know that you know the BI resistance is is equal to or approximately the same as the manufacturer's verification. All of the mentioned tests are performed by running fractional cycles in a in a beer vessel and then the BIs are then BI sterility tested to determine if those tests are successful. In addition to verifying the, the resistance characteristics of the BI, this testing can also become very useful in the event that you have a, a growth during one of your sterilization cycles. It can help to determine if the BI is actually causing the problem rather than the sterilization process to help you identify that, that trouble source. If you have any other questions on BI resistance testing, feel free to give us a call at Nelson Laboratories and we'll be happy to assist you.